What's going on folks? Welcome back to All Things Outdoors and today I've been working on a little bit of a project that I've wanted to do for quite some time now because it gets really bloody hot here in Australia. Um, we're expecting 31 degrees today uh, and it's not even summer yet. Um, but uh, I love camping in my dual cab diagonal ute camper setup but it gets too damn hot in there and summertime is just a no-go. So I've devised a way of keeping it cool in the summertime with a little idea I've got back here and you can see that wooden structure behind me where the tailgate normally is, is part of that. So let's check it out. Paddling jacks, driving on the tracks, so much more, come along with all things outdoors. This is an idea I got from Brian Waters Outdoors over in Texas in the US where he goes out uh, camping in the back of his uh, ute camper or truck camper as they call them in the States uh, that he's got set up in the back and in summertime he puts this wooden structure in the back of his tailgate with his air conditioner poking out of it. Now I've got this cool little portable air conditioner that I've used for quite some years now that has a little um, small outlet duct there and um, I've been able to set it up inside the back of the diagonal ute camper setup where I've got the sort of floor space where I put my feet. So let's go and have a look at the setup and see how it's going cooling wise. So the timber structure there creates a nice little seal uh, to seal off the back of the canopy with the tailgate down. Obviously if I had the tailgate up, I wouldn't be able to poke the exhaust of the air conditioner out to, to have it uh, cool down the, the cabin in there. So I'll show you what I've done. So I've got this top rail here that creates a nice seal up against the uh, rubber gland on the, uh, the canopy door to create a nice seal and keep all that cool air in. This is one of those upright sort of uh, portable air conditioner units that um, cycles internal air through it and exhaust the hot heat exchanger air out through the, the duct out the back here. So that's quite warm that's coming out there. And up the top here, we've got beautiful cool air and I've got it set at 18 degrees Celsius to, to cool the cabin down quite quickly. And there's still quite a bit of space down there for me to put my feet, even with my little uh, diagonal bed set up, just like that. You can still put my feet around there and then I'll have nice, air-conditioned air blowing straight in my face. So I've got my little temperature probe in there. You can see we started at, uh, what are we? 28 degrees Celsius inside the cabin. And we'll see how long that takes to cool down to a nice comfortable temperature in there because I wouldn't want to be in there at uh, 28 degrees Celsius at the moment, that's for sure. And yes, I know what you're saying. Well, we need a power outlet to run the air conditioner, obviously, and you know, if you've got power, you're not really camping. I've got a solution for that too. I've got over here a 120 amp hour AGM slimline battery and a 1500 watt uh, inverter, which can run that air conditioner. Can't run it for very long, probably an hour and a half, something like that. But the thing is you can get into the vehicle sort of late in the evening and use that air conditioner to cool it down after the sun's gone down and then hopefully it retains some of that uh, cooling after the fact. But I've also got a two kilowatt uh, portable generator, four stroke generator that I can use to run it off grid as well so that I'm not reliant on being on mains power supply to power the air conditioner. I believe um, the normal running output of that air conditioner is just under 1200 kilowatts, but, um, sorry, not kilowatts, sorry, 1200 watts. And uh, the peak output, like the surge power output on it, uh, input in it is around about 2800, 2900 watts, which this inverter can handle 3000 watts surge power for about a second, I believe. And then obviously it can handle the uh, regular, uh, power of that air conditioner ongoing so um, should be able to power that set up for an hour to an hour and a half to, to cool the cabin down for sleeping. Well it's been 45 minutes since I turned the air conditioning on and it was reading 28 degrees Celsius 
We are now down to a nice comfortable 22 degrees Celsius in there now, even though it's been sitting out in the sun. So it's uh, really pulled that temperature down quite nicely. I, I admit that the uh, canopy itself is actually um, partially insulated, so that's probably helped the situation in there, but uh, the sun is definitely beating down. You'll also notice that I've put a pool noodle in there to help seal off the outlet of the, the air conditioner as well, so we don't get any hot air leakage into the cabin to obviously make the cooling more efficient. So it's been um, really nice to see how quickly it's pulled the, the air temperature down inside the, uh, the back of the, uh, the camper there, and I'm really pleased with it so far. So what we might do next is actually tidy up the, the, um, the wooden um, blank piece there, just so it looks a bit nicer as well. Oh, and I've realised actually a good thing is too that even with the tailgate open, I can still remote lock the canopy because it actually uh, locks the door there. So it'll actually still be secure even though the tailgate's wide open um, when you're camping in there. So that's a, a bonus for that as well. Next thing is, let's see how easy it is to get in and out with this setup like that as well. Okay, so that's slightly cumbersome to get in and out, but um, it does seem to seal the, the back up quite nicely and I'm quite happy with it. So we'll call that a win and we might try and get out soon camping with this setup like this to keep cool. But it's very, very nice and comfortable in here and I'm quite happy with it. I've also run a tie down strap across the bottom of it to help seal the air conditioner up against the hole there, which uh, again helps with uh, uh, limiting the uh, hot air bleed that comes out from the exhaust there too. So, and it keeps it in position nice. So um, that's been a good addition as well. And you can see too that I've still got plenty of leg room down there, so it doesn't take up much space at all. That uh, the nice upright nature of that air conditioner really helps to uh, limit the impost on space in here. I've also realised too, when I put my Reflectix up on the window, that'll help insulate the, uh, the cabin here a lot better as well and um, probably help to pull the temperature down a lot quicker too. So that'll be a nice uh, addition when I do that, when I go out camping. Thanks for watching another one of my crazy uh, outdoor projects. Um, obviously many more to come and uh, get out and use this a bit more during the summertime now that we've got air conditioning.